Welcome back to the Crypto Bot Channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now the price of Bitcoin has just confirmed a break below an important range of support. While the price of ETH is currently forming a massive bearish divergence, which we need to pay attention to. So I'll be talking more about that later in the video. Definitely stick around. First of all, just giving you a quick update on the US stock market. This is the NASDAQ 100 index on the daily time frame. And so far today, the NASDAQ 100 index has seen a slight pullback throughout the trading day. But overall, at least at the time of recording this video, the stock market is basically trading around the same levels as where it was trading back on Friday. And so like I said, back on Friday, technically speaking, the stock market, specifically the NASDAQ 100 index is still currently looking more bearish than bullish bullish, especially while it's trading below the June lows, because this set up a significant range of support that held as support for quite a while. And so it's technically a bearish indication if a major support level gets broken to the downside. And unlike last time this happened, obviously back then we had a bullish divergence telling us that we're due to see reduced bearish momentum. But this time around, we do not have a bullish divergence because clearly we have higher highs in the price action and higher highs in the RSI, which is not a divergence. And so once again, while the NASDAQ 100 index is still sitting below around 11,000 up to 11.2K, which is this price range right here, then technically speaking, it's not looking too great as of right now. And obviously it's still within this larger bearish trend. This trend has not been broken as of right now. But what is really interesting is that while the US stock market is currently dumping and in fact trading below the June low, for the NASDAQ 100 index, of course. While this is happening, we are seeing the price of Bitcoin currently trending to the upside on the daily timeframe. And obviously, as of right now, at least at the time of recording this video, the price of Bitcoin has not broken below the June low at all. And so this is obviously a sign of strength for Bitcoin, especially over the last couple of weeks compared to what the stock market has been doing. But anyway, just giving you a quick update on that daily Bitcoin chart. And once again, as of right now, in terms of the price action, this is still a bullish trend because the price is forming higher highs and higher lows. And now if you're looking at the daily Bitcoin price oscillators, as of right now, they are still technically more bullish than bearish on this daily time frame. But with that being said, just more recently in the shorter term, they are showing more signs of this bullish momentum reducing. So we're losing some of this bullish momentum at the moment in the more shorter term. Because first of all, if you're looking at the daily Bitcoin RSI, once again, this uptrend has not not yet technically been broken because we still have higher lows forming, but more recently we've began to form horizontal highs. So that is a signal of bullish momentum reducing. And if you're looking at the daily Bitcoin MACD, this is still sitting in the green. We haven't seen another bearish cross in the daily Bitcoin MACD. But with that being said, if you're looking at the histogram within the MACD indicator, this has currently been declining in the more shorter term, which once again is a sign of bullish momentum slowing down on the daily time frame. But with that being said, we are still technically more bullish than bearish as of right now. It's just that bullish momentum is slowing down. And now just before talking about the short term Bitcoin price action and talking about what's happening with Ethereum later in this video, first, just quickly letting you know that right now there's over $4,000 worth of potential bonuses for anyone who makes an account with BitKet using the link down below in the description and in the pinned comments. And now obviously, if you're a regular viewer on this channel, you'll know that I rarely share anything in these videos. But recently, especially in the last few weeks, I've been getting more and more comments about what exchanges are available in the US because unfortunately, not many derivatives exchanges, if any, are available in the US. But BitGet is an exchange that's available in the US, which is obviously a big deal because it offers a futures market and a spot market, which both can be accessed in the US. And what's cool is that the entire spot market, which is just buying and selling crypto with no leverage, the entire spot market on BitGet has absolutely no fees right now, which is obviously a plus as well. And so once again, if you want to check this out for yourself or simply claim this bonus, then check out the link down below in the description and in the pinned comment. But anyway, now getting into the short term Bitcoin price action. And right now, what we've seen over the last one day is the price of Bitcoin confirm a break below this previous golden pocket level of resistance, which more recently should have been acting as a bit of short term support. And in case you 
new to this channel, this golden pocket is coming into play in between around 20.9K to 21K. And so due to the fact that the price of Bitcoin confirmed a break with multiple four hour candle closes below this golden pocket, technically speaking, that is a short term bearish signal. And now obviously for those of you who have been watching my videos over the last two to three days, this short term pullback wasn't really that surprising because roughly around three days ago, the four hour Bitcoin RSI reached into overbought territories, telling us that we're due to see a short term cool off. And these short term cool offs commonly play out in the form of either sideways price action or a pullback. So basically reduced bullish price action was expected over the last few days. And now that this is playing out, we're seeing quite the reset in the four hour Bitcoin RSI, which is now technically giving us some more room to the upside later on when we eventually see some more bullish momentum. Because technically speaking, even though we're seeing a short term pullback as of right now, at least at the time of recording this video, this trend has not actually broken. This short term bullish trend is technically still intact because we're still forming higher lows and higher highs as of recording this video. And as for important support and resistance levels to watch out for here in the short term, these levels have not changed since my last video on the channel. So if you're new to the channel and you want to know more about that, check out my last video once again. But anyway, getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this right here is the daily Ethereum to US dollar chart. And right now, the price of ETH is still forming that bearish divergence on the daily timeframe, which I also talked about in my last video. And so once again, what a bearish divergence means is that we're due to see reduced bearish momentum on this daily timeframe, which normally plays out over around one week on average. And once again, like I said in my last video, we saw something very similar to this happening during around the end of July back here at that previous breakout. But considering not much has changed on this chart since my last video, once again, if you're new to the channel and you want to know more information about this, then check out my last video on this channel. And now jumping straight into the short term, looking at the four hour Ethereum to US dollar chart, right now, as of recording this video, the price of ETH is currently experiencing a bounce and support along this previous golden pocket, which is coming into play in between around 1550 to 1560. And so once again, like I said in my last video, that is the range of support to pay attention to in the short term as of right now for the price of ETH. And as for resistance, I am still looking at around 1650 as important resistance for the price of ETH in the short term. But if we end up seeing a confirmed breakout above around 1650, then the next resistance level to the upside that I'll be watching for ETH is sitting at around 1.8K approximately based on this previous local high back in September. And as for support, once again, we have some support at around 1550 to 1560. But if we confirm a break below around 1550, then the next support levels to the downside that I'll be watching are sitting at around 1480, around 1410, around 1330, and around 1280 if those prior levels of support get broken first. And once again, like I said earlier for Bitcoin, technically speaking, this short term trend as of right now is still technically a bullish trend because the price is forming higher lows and higher highs as of recording this video. But like I've been saying in recent videos here on the channel, if you're looking at the four hour price oscillators, these are still showing reduced bullish momentum. And in fact, a bit more of a return in bearish momentum. Because for example, over the last one week or so, we've seen a bit more of a downtrend form in the four hour Ethereum RSI. And we've begun to see more bearish crosses become more common in the four hour Ethereum MACD. And so once again, these are technically signs on the chart telling us that the bullish momentum for this trend is slowing down. Although at least at the time of recording this video, this bullish trend hasn't yet confirmed a break and a reversal. But whether this trend reverses into a more bearish trend or simply continues in this more bullish direction, either way, you can still make money in crypto if you know the right strategies. And if you want to know how to do that, then check out these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left of your screen shows you how to make money in crypto if the price is either trending bullish or bearish. And the video in the bottom left of your screen shows you how to make money in crypto if the price is chopping around sideways. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.